the Kansas City Chiefs franchise quarterback will remain with the franchise through at least 2031. ESPN's Adam Schefter broke the news that Patrick Mahomes signed a 10-year contract extension. The length of the deal puts Mahomes in unchartered territory. Among quarterbacks, only Matt Ryan, Jimmy Garoppolo, Matthew Stafford and Derek Carr have deals that go as long as five years. Mahomes is double that. As Schefter noted, only a handful of quarterback have been signed to contracts with double-digit years, including Brett Favre's lifetime contract with the Green Bay Packers in 2001, Drew Bledsoe's 10-year deal with the New England Patriots in 2001, Donovan McNabb's 12-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles in 2002 and Michael Vick's 10-year deal with the Atlanta Falcons in 2004. Financial terms have not yet been released, but speculation is that the dollar amount of Mahomes' deal will be more than $400 million and top all players in cumulative money and per year salary. Russell Wilson had the highest annual amount at $35 million, and Ryan topped all NFL players with a deal totaling $150 million. Mahomes was asked about his contract negotiations during the offseason. I want to be a chief for a long time, he said. I want to have a contract that says that. Both objectives have been met, and now the Chiefs have locked up a player until he will turn 34. Mahomes will not turn 25 until September. The fact he hasn't yet entered his prime years is a scary prospect for the rest of the NFL. He already has an MVP and Super Bowl MVP on his resume and has thrown for 9, 412 yards, 76 touchdowns and just 18 interceptions. That includes his transcendent 2018 campaign when he became just the third quarterback in NFL history to throw for 50 touchdown passes in a season. The foundation was laid from the day we drafted him, Chiefs general manager Brett Veach said, and then going to the AFC Championship game and the following year following that up with a Super Bowl win. Now that the Chiefs have locked up their best defensive player, what does it mean for their best defensive player? Defensive lineman Chris Jones, who the Chiefs already placed the non-exclusive franchise tag on, has yet to sign the tag and recently hinted at holding out while tweeting at New York Jets running back Le'Veon Bell, who held out the entire 2018 season. Barring a long-term contract with the Chiefs, Jones will become an unrestricted free agent. And Kansas City's salary cap likely will be squeezed by Mahomes' enormous deal. July 15 is the deadline for Jones to sign a long-term deal. Otherwise, he can still sign the one-year tag and make $16, 1 million next year. But July 6 is day of jubilation for Chiefs fans. Their once-in-a-generation player signed a historic deal that should make the Chiefs championship contenders for the next decade. Pat wants to certainly create his own legacy and he wants to do that in Kansas City, Veach said.